Hi friends! It's me, Dora, that yarny zebra. And be surprised, I'm not wearing a hat to cover up this hair today. That's fine. It's all good and dandy. And Lucky is in his own little chair here. Let's see if we can find him. Oh my gosh. Wait. Where is he? Where are you, Lucky? Are you sitting there with Mama? Huh? Are you sitting here? Hang on. Let me raise your seat up. Let me raise you up. Hang on. We're going to get that seat up for you. Hey! Hey! Does anybody see that guy sitting in his own chair? Over here. Over here, Lucky. Say hi. Oh, wait. Forget it. Forget it. He just wants my lap, so he can have it. Come on. Come on. Want to sit with Mama? Want to sit with Mama? <laughs> oh, Lordy, it's not working, guys. He's so, so spoiled. He said... Forget it. I don't want my own chair. I want your chair. Oh, wait. I want to sit in your chair, Mama. And I want to lick your makeup off. Yeah. I know. I moved the tripod trying to get Lucky in the camera. And here he is. <laughs> How's everybody doing this wonderful Sunday? Mm, mm, mm. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day in the house of the Lord this morning. So, just saying. It was so good. It was so, so good. Um, I'm not sure if you could pull it up, but our church does a streaming on Facebook. It's called Redemption City. You're welcome to go and uh, check it out and listen to the word. Today's word was a maze bomb. And it talks about um, the suffering of Christ and how his very best friends or disciples fell asleep in the garden when he was suffering and crying and sweating. Um... He was, his, he was sweating blood because he wanted that cup to pass from him. He did not want to um, suffer death on the cross. But he said, but Father, it, let your will be done. And it happened that way for our salvation. But his disciples, his very close friends, were all snoring and sleep, and they couldn't stay awake and pray with him for even one hour. And it, I, this brings me to this question: How often do you find time to pray for your loved ones or pray for your family that? is hurting or ill or doesn't know the Lord, perhaps. If you're a believer and you would love for your husband to be uh, a Christian, but you don't know how to pray about that, or if you're happy with your husband, um, being in whatever faith he's in or no faith at all but if your heart's desire is to see them to know the Lord um, how much time do you spend in prayer asking God to grant that prayer or um, answer your prayer I know that I've spent years in prayer um, asking God to uh, save my loved ones to bring uh, restoration, bring healing, um, and uh, my sweet friend that brought me sweet Valentine stuff uh, came to church today. Um, he does often. Some Sundays he has to work, but he was at church, and 
was kind enough to take me to the market today after church. Not something I wanted to do, um, but it was necessary. I did need a few groceries, so um, he did take me to the market, and I was very grateful. Um, our church serves like a little breakfast brunch um, every Sunday, so I did fill my face up um, a little bit and did not have room for lunch today, so we didn't go have lunch or anything, but he still owes me a Valentine's dinner. <laughs> I told him, I'm going to hold you to that. Don't forget. I think I'll pick Red Lobster or something. Or Oh Charlie's or something something fancy, smancy. Um, maybe we'll just go to Cooper's. I enjoyed Cooper's. I've been three times and I love that restaurant. They have some really good food. But anyway... <sighs> Sometimes we suffer for the cause of Christ. I know that um, I went to a Christian high school, um, and that was a real blessing to me. Um, I am a preacher's kid. I am a PK. So uh, my dad was very, very tickled that we were able to uh, go to the Christian school and complete our education. There were six of us, and all six of us did graduate from the Christian school. Loved it. I would love for my children to have attended there, but um, they established their own network of friends, and that's something that, um, you know, children do, and young adults, they want to go their own way, but we have planted the seed in their hearts, and I just am so grateful that... Um, my children um, know um, Christ, and two of them I know are still serving Him. So that's a good thing. That's a mighty, wonderful God thing. Um, and you know, all the all the upbringing and. Bible studies and teaching of His Word have not gone on to deaf ears, and I am so grateful for that. My youngest daughter is helping in the youth ministry, um, and it, it's a blessing to me to know that they still know um, what... Oh, Lucky's got a pine cone in his sweater. Did you have a pine cone? Are you in time out? He has his nose in the corner over here of this big chair. You think it's because he's not in my lap and he's thinking, you just stuck me over here. I didn't stick you over there, sugar booger. You can sit with mama. You want to sit with mama? No? Well, I have been gone for a few hours. Church plus grocery shopping at the market. Didn't make him happy, but he did get his um, favorite treat, and that was a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. <laughs> Even on Sunday, because I have them frozen in my fridge, a freezer, freezer. But, um, yeah, I just want to challenge you today. Um... That if there's a struggle in your life right now that you are unable to control, take it to the Lord. Pray about it. Um, seek His face. Find a place in your home that you can go where nobody is going to bother you and just implore the Lord to um, help on your behalf and the behalf of your family or friend, whoever you're praying for. Um, I do have, I don't know if I shared this or not, but my two sweet friends uh, that were in the video with me uh, a couple times, Brenda and Susan, 
Brenda is cancer free. She was terrified that she was going to have to have uh, radiation um, or go back into chemo, but it's over. It's done. Thank you all for your prayers. I am just so grateful uh, for praying friends and that God answered our prayers and she does not need um, any more therapy. She is cancer free. Glory to God in the highest. Also, um, I didn't turn my phone off. Anyway, I did turn it back on after church because I didn't want to miss any special um, calls or anything, but I did not turn it off while we are chit-chatting here. Um, Susan, the one that was here who was dealing with the breast cancer, had double nasectomy and um, reconstruction, is cancer-free as well. She had her other um, PET scan done, and it's been two and a half years since she was diagnosed. She's finished all of her treatments and is cancer-free. Glory to God in the highest. Give Him praise. Give Him praise in the house. So, I'm just really, really grateful for uh, answered prayer. I know that I spent lots of time in prayer for both these precious ladies, and they are cancer-free. And find a place to go and talk to God about your friends or your desire of your heart. Um, I want to see all my children in church. I want to see um, them serving the Lord. And I just want to know them and love on them and be able to spend time with all of my children and know that um, my grandbabies know me and I can experience sharing my uh, life with them. That That's a desire of my heart. Another desire is to be able to go and spend time with my mother, which will happen when I get a car. Yes, I'm working on that. I have on a yarn band. I have saved up money that I, whatever little money I have, I've been saving it. Um, I was able to get a Chromebook because uh, YouTube was getting ready to kick me off because I have this very vintage old laptop that would shut down all by itself, would not let me um, edit anything, and I'm still learning to edit. I'm still working on that. So these, these videos may turn out to be a little bit more less choppy, and I don't know, I've probably talked too much already. I haven't got all my words out, but I will bring this to a close. I do have um, a box of yarn that did not get sent out to uh, the winner of my 500 giveaway. I did not receive an uh, email from Apple Pecan Sews. So I have an email called In His Hands Creations. I will put it in the description box below. This is your last chance to email me to get this package. And if you are in the United States, I can send it to you. If you are not in the United States, I apologize. That was one of the rules of the giveaway is it ha you have to be stateside on this side of the pond um, in the 50 states. I apologize for that. It's a financial thing. Um, but please, please, sweet apple pecan, pecan, however you say it, please email me so that I can get this package out to you. If not, um, this package will be um, part of the giveaway for the folks who are doing their Make Your Own Subscribe Pillow Challenge that I have started. If you've not seen that um, challenge, please go back and check out some of my lives, or maybe uh, I can just tell you about it right now. This is not the prettiest pillow on the block, but it is. 
a handmade crocheted subscribe pillow and I'm challenging you to make your own subscribe pillow. If you do not have a channel with content and you do not need subscribers, you can still make a pillow and put whatever words you want to put on here. You can put faith, hope, um, love. You put whatever you want on your pillow. Um, maybe you want to put your last name. Maybe you want to put established such and such time. If you're married and you want to do a little uh, pillow with your name on it and last name on it and the year of your marriage or whatever established such and such time, you can do that. Um, it doesn't have to be a subscribe pillow, but this is a challenge. And I was going to end this challenge on the first week of March, but we're going to extend it a little bit to mid-March or maybe near the end of March. So the subscribe pillow, do it yourself, has been extended. It is not ending on the first week of March. So if you are interested in this challenge, making your own pillow, it doesn't have to say subscribe just in case you have a channel with no content, but let's do it. I'm encouraging you. Uh, I want you to tarry with me for a few minutes a day and make your own subscribe or special uh, wording pillow. does not have to be a subscribe pillow. It can be any color you want. This is your pillow. Do it yourself. So, saying that again, get involved. I am putting my email address down below in my Facebook account if you have made it and you want to share pictures. Um, I would love to see pictures of your finished projects so I can put you in the drawing as participating in the Make Your Own Subscribe Pillow Challenge. This has become a long, long post, so Jesus loves you. I love you. Be blessed. Lucky loves you, and he's still sitting over here with his nose in the... Oh my gosh, look. Poor baby. He's having a moment. Lucky. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. He is saying, hey, mother, you know what time it is, right? Mama, it is time for our nap nap. So, love to each of you. Get involved in the challenge. Look in the description box below for more information. I just picked up my tripod and put it right up in my face, y'all. I pulled it too far back when we got through looking at Pouty over here. Come here and say goodbye. Come on, say goodbye. Bye-bye. We love you. We love you very, very much. Waving. He's waving. It's time for that big nap that he has been postponing until Mama came home. So we're going to go take our little afternoon siesta. God bless you all real big. And remember, Jesus loves you. And we are his favorite. His very favorite. Lucky, put that tongue in your mouth. <laughs> chat with you guys later. Oh, Lucky. Say chat with you guys later. Say bye. Bye. Ooh.